Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Saji. What's going on with you? What is going on? Four of Pentacles is going on. You're hanging on to something quite tightly. I don't know to what yet, but we shall see. In the recent past, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles. Love came in. Looks good. Looks promising. Looks like it was building up. Something was going quite well. Looks good. In the current situation, the Strength card, the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands. Still looks good. <laughs> until we clarify but for now the energy like all of this imagine it as a um underlayer like an energy that's kind of swirling there available for you and i don't know what's going on on the surface we usually see that oh i usually see that when um clarification comes to to play uh so for now again still looks good Still feels like everything's fine with this love, or at least it should be, according to the energies. In the immediate future, however, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Things are starting to slow down until they stop. And they stop into a place of possible confusion. Possibly just sitting there, feeling stuck in your head, and not knowing what to do. So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Four of Pentacles. The Hierophant, the Five of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, there, it's starting to show up. It's starting to show up. Um, there's a commitment here that's shown up. It could be a marriage for some of you. For others, if it's not, it kind of feels that way. Um, someone is saying to themselves, it's working out fine. Everything's fine. Now, I personally do not believe that because the five of swords is there. And that's the energy in which someone is deciding to tell themselves a lot of crap. Um, you know words that you may believe that they're true but inside of you you actually know that they're not true those words so uh now the hanging on part is that it's like justifying why you're not letting go of a commitment uh because it's working out fine what are you talking about why would i let it go there's nothing wrong here you know and I'm not saying let it go. I'm saying someone, when they hold on to something really, really tight, they do it out of fear that they're going to lose that. And then to top it all off, they kind of say, it's perfect. Now, I don't know if it's perfect or not, but I do kind of sense an energy of trying to get someone to back off when they're calling them out. You know, like say... I kind of sense that there's something wrong here. I kind of sense that something is not quite healthy for you and not beneficial for you. And I'm going to tell you that. And you come to me and you say, what are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Everything's fine here. Um, and again, not saying that it has to be a tragedy in here, but like, are you sure everything's fine? Or why are you saying that so strongly and so you know as if back off because that's the way i'm getting it here you wouldn't have a reason to if everything was fine right you would be like oh you sense that okay nothing i can do about how you feel um i feel that everything's fine on my side you know i wouldn't be defensive i wouldn't be everything's fine you know no reason to 
unless something is up. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm just seeing the defensive kind of a fuck off kind of energy, you know, uh, when you're being called out. But uh, let me see the chariot in the recent past. Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Okay. Something, something feels good here because I see love in your life and then I see you growing individually. You know, it's like you had love at some point you had this opportunity to grow to learn to heal there's it's quite a good mix of energies now i don't know if they came at the same time or you had that experience and that experience and that experience and you put them all together it's like i got something good here you know i don't know how they happened i kind of see them separate but at the same time complementing one another you know um I don't know. I don't know. Let's see the seven of pentacles. Somehow intertwined, but maybe not at the same time. Oh, there it is. There it is. For the seven of pentacles, the five of wands, the hangman, the devil. That's what it is. That's the energy that I was just talking about. Because you're showing me, again, what I read in the beginning, the energies, everything, you know. But that's how they're presented by you in this case, because I'm reading for you. Um, keeping that surface, keeping that neat surface. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. Now underneath, there's a whole lot of crap going on here. There's five of wands, conflict. Either inner conflict or possibly even worse, conflict within the situation. Uh, nobody's doing anything about that conflict. It's just there. Okay which kind of creates an unhealthy environment, you know? And someone is showing up and telling me, what are you talking about? We're growing, look at us. I am, that's the problem, you know? I am. Uh, and I feel like it's not the first time that this has happened in the way of let me admit to the crap that's going on here and start dealing with it rather than just put something out there. Everything's fine here. Do not approach just in case. But I want to let you know that everything's fine here. So I don't need your assistance. So stay there where you're at, because if you're coming in closer, you're going to see through my crap and I don't want you to see that. So stay there. Everything's fine. You know? Mm, there's a little bit of that going on. Let's do the strength card in the current situation. The Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Okay, okay. Okay, something feels good here. Something feels like... Oh, man. Someone turned their attention back towards self. I don't know. Maybe you started treating yourself a little bit maybe you started taking care of yourself you know your body your needs your whatever there's that little bit of sense coming into play which kind of boosts you up in energy which feels good but i feel like it's a task it's quite difficult it's not that easy to take care of yourself in that way you know you're doing it here and there but i feel like it helps to be honest your energy does uh go up here a little bit do the two of cups though the two of cups again the sun the four of swords something is working out for now it looks like something is working out possibly even on the surface there the energies are lined up with a potential of things working out <clears throat> let's do the six of wands That's what I thought. The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is in your past tied up to all of these energies of things are crappy, but everything's fine. You stay right there so that you don't see through my crap. Everything's perfect. So it's interesting how everything's fine now, but this energy wants to show up. So that energy is kind of knocking at your door being like, hey, Saji, did you forget something? 
you know, because that energy was never taken care of. It, it, it kind of shows up in the way of something is dysfunctional and then everybody wipes that off and then we're starting from scratch. And we'll pretend that never happened and everything's happy. That energy happened and it's here knocking at your door. Now you're not gonna open up, you're not crazy, right? Like I left that in the past, it's not gonna, you know, but it's gonna keep on knocking until you do open up because it's your energy. It's not gonna leave you alone until you actually address it and not ignore it, you know? So just be aware, even though things look like, okay, everything's fine now. Just be aware that energy is lurking there in the shadow, waiting for it to be resolved. Let's do the Two of Swords in the immediate future. Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of pain coming through here. What's interesting about this, though, is that I don't see this pain blocking the love that you feel for a situation. So even though you may be a lot in your head about things, you're still allowing your love to come through. You know, which is quite interesting that you're able to do that, but you're doing it. I wonder what this pain is about. Let's do the Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. The King of Swords, the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles. There's a whole lot of healing that's coming up here for you. And I feel like you know the exact steps to take to go into that healing. So this one feels good also it does seem to be closely tied up to commitment here this healing you know commitment in general not necessarily this one um just the, the perception of commitment just what commitment is to you you know and i feel like you're not in a rush with this healing it's coming through it's like okay you know it's time for me to go there and you were let's do the two of wands though the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the World Card. I'm trying to figure out where you shut down because at some point you shut down. It's not showing up in the reading. It could be a pattern that's coming through for you in terms of you know what, uh, I'll sit here in my own pain and until I decide I'm gonna close off my heart and then I'm gonna move on. Could be a pattern. Something like that is coming through, but I see it coming to an end for you. So I feel like you healed something here. It's not showing up for me here to see exactly where it came from, but I feel like it's gonna be beneficial for the situation you're dealing with since it showed up in the reading and it's definitely showing up as a cycle closed kind of an energy which is a good one that it's closing because you're touching on something big here in terms of healing and as i said i see you heading in that direction of healing possibly starting to deal with things in a different way from now on because if you've healed something of importance especially tied up to commitment yep things are going to start to look a little different feel a little different Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords. It's this energy right here with the Page of Swords, the energy of self-love. I feel like you're having a hard time with that. Uh, you're being intuitively guided to go in that direction. Sneeze. Mother, yeah. um, you're being called to do that a little more, you know, to, to go in the direction of self-love, self-care. For some reason, it feels like a very difficult task. Now, you might say to yourself, no, it's easy, I do it all the time. Is it sinking truly in? Do you feel that deep love for self? When you feel that, that's when you're working with it. I feel like that's the hard part. Because, yeah, you can do all, a bunch of things for yourself and they could feel good yeah but do they really feel like man i did this for me look at me you know and really sinking in i don't know it feels like a tough energy but you're doing it regardless you know so 
that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.